Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Get inducted into the Space Camp Hall of Fame by an astronaut, and what do you do? This is awesome. Uh, I do have two and a half minutes. Uh, if, uh, if I do go over, I will also sing. Um, you can try to walk me off with Devo, that would be awesome. Um, let me do the most important parts first. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, Mom, Dad, thank you for sending me in 1990. I think it had some sort of effect on my life. Um, I wanted to say thank you to my wife, Melissa, who I love dearly. She's not here. Uh, she is at home with uh, our daughters, Claire and Maddie. Maddie just graduated from fifth grade today, so Maddie, congratulations. And Claire, I'll be calling you a little bit later to see about your homework to make sure you're getting close to straight A's again. So, um, you know, it, it, you watch these videos and you start to get a little bit of the Ozymandias poem. You know, uh, it's a uh, look upon my works, ye mighty in despair. Look at all these amazing things I've done, right? It's so, so great. It, it's not about that despite the fact that the program, my face on there is probably the most punchable face you'll ever see. It's not about what we are and what we've done as individuals. It's about what we've done as a group and what we continue to do. And I'm just thrilled to be part, just a small part of this small group, but then the entire community. We celebrate this whole endeavor and we're excited by it. We're all here because we're excited by space. But why is space so exciting? Why do we do this? Why? What is it? You know, and, and people not even in this community get excited by space. You know, going in, you saw the photos in the Oval Office, you know, met with members of Congress and people all over the world. And if they're not in the space community, when I walk in, they go, oh, space guy's here. This will be fun. Now, it's not because of me, of course. It's because it's the space portfolio. But what is it that really excites people about space? So I'm gonna tell you a little story about how the president asked me what excites me about space, wanted me to share my feelings, which I don't share my feelings. Um, and so I tricked him, I tricked the president into sharing my feelings. So everyone who's probably been here before has talked about why space is important to them and we all have an idea as to why we wanted to do it. And in 2010, as Scott talked about, I finished writing the national space policy and President Obama said, a good, I, I got it, I understand what we want to do, but why? Why are we doing this? Tell me why you want to do this. So he wanted me to talk about my feelings, which was not going to happen. So what I did is I went back, it turned out there was some person who had my position back in 1958, and I was able to go back through the White House records, and Dwight Eisenhower had asked him the same question. This guy was dumb enough to actually talk about his feelings, so I took what he wrote and I put it in the 2010 policy. And I'm going to tell you what he said, because to me, when I saw these words, it summed up exactly what I thought, which is, more than by any other imaginative concept, the mind of man, and I say man, so you know it's a 1958 quote, because there weren't women back then, is aroused by the thought of exploration exploring the, the mysteries of outer space. Through such exploration, man hopes to broaden his horizons and to his knowledge and to improve his way of living on Earth. And I would add, in space as well. We all do this for each other. We all do it because we're meant to explore and we're all a part of space at a genetic level. So thank you very, very much. It's a true honor and uh, can't wait to talk to the rest of you tonight at the reception. Thank you.